My mind ain't pure, more like my mind is sore. Apples to apples, I orders. I always heard apples are life, but my whole life I saw eyes like knives that don't move my head, leaving me disturbed like a beehive. It angers me inevitably. Inevitably, I was brought down to my knees. How the fuck do daggers help you see? Again, down on my knees, scorched black trees. I pulled the rest by my muddy hands. I brought back death to these desolate lands. Elbow deep in my pockets, tragedy tickles my fingertips. Apple seeds I have forgotten. So I pop these to feel at ease with the last of my life deceased. Even the cracks of this landscape don't let me fall through, it's the symptoms of this disease. Hearing the same track as I look back, is my life a broken record or am I dying on every track? And that's my first one. Cool. Woo! Woo! So, I did this years ago and I was good. And then I did it again, and I can't remember any of my stuff for shit. So I'm going to be a poser for half the time and read out my notebook, if that's cool. Cool. <laughs> uh, this next one, poem, song, whatever the fuck they're called, is uh, Grading Rubik, Rubrics. You know, it's kind of cool that every year of school is virtually the same. The only thing that changed was the day in our age. Following that, every night is digitally the same. The only thing that changed was my preference how much I came. It kind of loosens me up with my head under the covers, condensation close to the computer screen, then it emits steam when uncovered for the outside air. Man, look at that hair. You know it'll never get cut. You know, I don't care if I look better. Your snickering friends just keep their mouths shut. You stupid s Oh, but that's not me anymore. I had a couple... I had a couple more birthday cakes and I learned from my mistakes. I had this cool dream the other day. It was a silhouette of an hourglass and I was all like, dude, no way. My shorts all of a sudden fell tight and this hourglass stretched out its arms and now I only have my shirt on. But in a time like this, there's nothing to enjoy in a blur. Just the awkward feeling of regaining my consciousness as I'm startled by a witch slapping paper down on my desk that's slippery with drool. Bleeding red ink. Oh look, an F. It's even underlined too. Well, I know a lot about Fs. Fuck you, fuck your fucking test, I did my fucking best, and fuck everyone in this place. I was always excited about English until I, until I started failing. It hasn't stopped since the start, you fucking faggot. It hasn't stopped since the start, you fucking faggot. It hasn't stopped since the start, well you know what? I have fucking had it. So I finally cut my hair, and for once no one cared, not one bit. And this morning in the mirror, I finally looked for once, and that was pretty cool too. Off to the next year of school, it, it definitely wasn't the same, but the day and age virtually stayed the same. Nightly routine never changed, not until that hourglass embraced me in real time. And you know what? I was wrong. I called you some nasty things. Please don't keep your mouth shut. I'm grateful for the songs you sing. I was still tired, only because now I can't lie. I actually tried. I'll always be a dreamer, but it's sometimes better to wake up, even if you are started awake, by a paper slapped on the desk by a saint disguised as a witch. My eyes adjust to reassure some sort of trust. Red inks, again, smeared by the secretions of my sleep, hopefully shaping a past I'd like to keep. I can finally decipher this blotch of ink. A. A fucking A. Thank you. Thank you. If, if you haven't paid, pay. I'm just going to say it again. Um, and there's really cool people here. Bell's Advocate, actually, I heard they're doing a music video. You'll find out. Um, then there's Purgatory, Ironborn, and Growing Cold. Yeah, forgot about those guys. I tried you most of the time. But these guys are pricks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to go. Keep going. Uh, this next things called uh, a verbal threat I'm willing to escalate. Man, that makes you sound tough, dude. Meet me in the devil's advocate pit, dude. <laughs> An idea created only to be faded out within correlation to these sensations that sitch up flayed skin filled with salt. I don't know what it's called, but my hands will swoon as the salt is retrieved and my, hand, my eyes turn back in a different tune. Because this seam ripper was thought to create a day tripper. After you realize your forgetfulness, the classic traitor, they delayed your priority of a steak with some flavor. 
Where recently I tend to have trouble fathoming how one loses the ability to just ask nicely. If you ever asked by a knock to kicking down the door, you think much is left? Well, there isn't any more. I was more than happy to help what I had seen as a friend. At first I chewed my own leg off, and then you came back with the tool belt to saw the other off. But hey, you know, it's what I'm here for, although now I'm three feet closer to the floor. And with what I have, I need to start doing that, bun that bench press because I'm starting to become unimpressed. You know, shit happens, but it's been way too long for me to be holding all of yours. I only have one arm left to be holding up my doors. Through the course of this journey, I thought we'd be learning that no matter a dime a dozen, you don't find loyalty by the dozen. I know to a sense it wasn't troubling because you kept coming with an extra limb, you kept coming with an extra limb, you kept coming. And taking my legs was smart because when you kept coming, I couldn't start running. With me like a horse with the last lift that's left in me, I'll be dead until dawn. And then I'll lay down and look down to try and remember how my legs are gone. Too late, don't matter now, because this is now and not time for how. You think the once boiling blood has dried up. You think you dumped out the last full cup. Preach more about being a bright, flavorful peach. Walk away like a name carved in a beach. Run away till worms and maggots kiss your feet. Shrivel and rot in the heat. I know it seems you got me beat, resembling a science class cadaver, but you're the one that I'm after. You know, keep approaching the last standing door. I hope you greatly expect something more. Is this what you want now? Be my goddamn guest. I'd love to see you good try. Give me your fucking best. To me now, it's only fragile flesh split by a temporary wound. That's right, it's my turn to be relentless. You cut off four to create a black knight. Prepare to lose this fight. Thanks. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm trying not to be as awkward doing this as usual. It's really hard being by yourself, so cool. Um, I know a lot of this shit that I write, um, probably sounds like a big bummer, and it's not my intention to for people to be like, oh, dude, that shit's sad, like, I don't care, I mean, I don't know why I'm saying this, but basically what I'm saying is I don't want to, I don't want you guys to, like, get in this weird mood the rest of the night, I want you to have a good fucking time, because there's a bunch of cool bands, and I thank you so much for listening to me, I know it's probably weird for you guys, for, I don't know, but I know a lot of people aren't used to a lot of this stuff, and so it's really cool for people to come early and hang out, and... Yeah, and this next one's called Forgive Me Father For I've Let You Fail Me. I go by Kenobi, yes, like Obi-Wan, but not exactly. I can't solve my problems with a wave of my hands. I can't somehow flick my fingers to alter time sands. I can only wave my hands and goodbyes, and when you turn your back, I'll give my real feelings a try. The mold you had made was never your choice to make, but since you insisted, the best you got was a black sheep whose only purpose is to weep. Time is, in time is inevitable, followed by pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters. Change. The four horsemen to your apocalypse, an enemy against order, still trying to enforce borders. Where did your boy go? Uh, where the fuck did your vision go? 19 years, I've still been here from the start. 19 years, and I've still got the same fucking heart. If you still insist, though, things can take a new shape, but not according to the mold you claim exists. I want to love my personality. I want to love myself. I just want to love my life. I guess for five years that has been my fault. That progress has come to a halt. Slowly grinding with broken bone, bones on a chalkboard, a distraction our Sundays couldn't afford. For years it was wrong to say my personality was that music saved me. But I now understand why you were so angry. I just thought school wasn't the only thing. But now I'm really good at ABCs, one, two, three, repeatedly. <laughs> I can now do it out loud, even when they threw in X plus Y equals Z. It really taught me about my future and money. Step one, step two, step three. Now breathe, and now repeat, and then get over it until the next morning and wake up with the thoughts and teeth of the thief. And although with my ADHD forcing me to be fidgety, I wait patiently for my life and money concealed in a package addressed to happiness, sincerely, these last five years. But patience is limited. I can't wait to take on the world with this money. Now let me tell you my favorite part. It's what I, plan to, it's what I really plan to do with this package. One, two, and three. But it just really sucks I have all these insignificant things that keep my designated package from arriving. And the best you got was a black sheep whose only purpose is to weep, and now I'm weeping as I'm sleeping. You tell me to keep dreaming, but every time I wake up and I can't stop screaming, and I just want that mail to fucking arrive soon. Yeah. Thanks.
Thanks. I got two more left, and then I'll get out of your face and party can happen. Um, usually, I, like, from at this point of my set of things, I just like to say a few things. Um, first off, there's a lot of fucked up shit going on. I mean, not only in the world. But in order to change the world, you got to focus on where you come from. And there's a lot of shit going on in the country right now. Um, I mean, of course, people are probably automatically thinking that I'm referencing, you know, the whole Michael Brown thing and Eric Garner, which of course I am. But that's not the only thing that's going on. Um, you know, there are people who don't have a voice and the media won't give them a voice because they're being killed or them dying wasn't as important as, um, you know, this fucking issue of Darren Wilson and all these other motherfuckers that I honestly don't care about. There's people who go their whole lives screaming for help and they'll never be heard, and that's, you know, people, the minorities, you know, face racism every day, and if you think racism um, is a lie, if you um, think racism is not a real thing, uh, I'm not, I, like, I want you to get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to do anything else. Um, that's just not cool at all. And that's something we definitely need to change. That's the bigger picture here. Uh, something we really need to work on as uh, people in the United States. And not only are people of color uh, continuing to be an oppressed in our nation, you know, there's also um, continually um, women also being, uh, uh, you know, suffering from the same things and they tend to go um, without a voice a lot of times and we tend to ignore them so it's definitely there's a lot of people going through shit and we need to speak up for them uh, we have um, a lot of us all of us white males have that privilege and use that privilege to your advantage be a voice for the voiceless lift those people up your job is to listen not to try and oppress the others not to try and talk over them you got to talk for them <clears throat> With that in mind, I'm gonna go on. Cool. This next one's called uh, Rational Security. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. We wake up and lift up the lids of our deathbeds and we raise somewhat successful kids with just enough meds. And we're packing their lunch boxes with box ups so they're so they know what to do when the hallway's full of gunshots. Well, why aren't we giving box tops to black kids so they're not killed by white cops? See, my hands are up and I know you won't shoot because I'm a white hetero male and I go to college too, but some aren't so lucky robbed of opportunities to save us. I'd kill thousands, you'd still take me alive. Someone else commits the same crime and wouldn't survive because they're a suspect of not being white. And then we wake up in the suburbs and Fox News tells us that what was done was right. But I won't lie, I wish this was white face, and if that were true, I'd hope to wake the fuck up, because the white race could use, use a little less space. You know, I'm a size 13, but I would give everything to walk a thousand years in a victim's shoes. And man, I've already lost that race, the race that was a lie to cover up the ignorance and xenophobic behavior of those who stoop so low, they feel so high. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, uh, that saved a wretch like me, a boy in blue, dripping red, saved you by screaming out the barrel of a gun, I saved you. You saved me? Is that really what you see? These colors don't run, right? They only run with their backs turned to your gun. But you need the presence of all colors in order to shed some light, you fucking pig. You throw water on wet paint to wash away the other colors, or you speed it up by aiming a sig heil to the, ones, to the heads of the ones who were born on trial. If I were a Muslim using public transportation, I'd like to see you save me. If I, were, if I was a black man making my way home down a middle class neighborhood, I'd like to see you save me. If I were gay trying to practice my religion, I'd like to see him save me. If I were Latino applying for jobs, I'd like to see you save me. If I were a woman, would you save me and rape me or would you rape me and save me? Stop saving me, start saving them. There's mass graves and cemeteries that rise in diversity every day. Shoot first and then ask questions and we ask how did things get this way? I will forever stand by your side. We need to make them hear us. We'll make them fear us. We'll fight, fight, fight until there's no fight left in us. 
No matter man or woman, gay or straight, black or brown, I won't stop until we get that day. And if saying this is blasphemous, tell God and all his heavens to get out of the way. Thank you, I have one more left. <clears throat> also, uh, another thing, um, I constantly talk about, I, uh, it's, I try not to really be out there about it because it's not really of anyone's business or I don't like to make it anyone's business. <laughs> Uh, but it's something I struggle with every day, and I know it's something uh, people, a lot of other people struggle with every day, and I'm sure a lot of people in this room struggle with every day. Um, back to, you know, people with voices and everything. You never know what anyone by you could be going through. Um, you know, I just, I lost um, not close people, but four people that I went to high school with that died and um, three of them were suicides and uh, that's fucked up and the really fucked up thing is a lot of those could be prevented not maybe not necessarily prevented but a lot of them could have really been a lot less harder than they would there's always someone who needs a hand up whether they're your best friend a family member or just a fucking stranger you never know what someone's going through so always be that person to try and pick someone up because you never know what that person could do for you or do for your life or do for the world you know everyone has a reason to be here whether you think so or, or whether they disagree or whatever everyone has a reason to be here um, you know no one wants to fuck in and <clears throat> watch their friend's parents cry and hug them while they're staring at their friend's body at a funeral and, and they're not even, you know, in their middle ages. No one wants to fucking go through that. No one ever wants to go through that any time in their life. So, you know, life's, life's a fucking cool thing and um, that's all you got and it's really fucked up if anyone wants to take that away. Um, so just help people out and it's really cool because people are cool and life's cool. So let's go. This one I just wrote. Thank you guys again so much. Um, we can talk after about comics and stuff. I like comics. Otherwise, let's have a good rest of the night. Party. Yeah. All right, this is called The Disgusted Faces of a Disgusting, Disgusted Man. I've measured a life in multicolored milligrams, PhDs rooting against me sitting in the home team stands, looking to my side and the crowd has turned against me, equipped with obscene hands. The, the yard markers need 50, 70, 150, 300, brain dead, enough said, bloodshed, congratulations, you've got a fucked head. Every night put to sleep, every morning brought back to weep. Was there a purpose for the day, or a purpose for this way? Are you sure it's not hypnosis? It's good for us? Good night, give it a kiss. Good morning, give it a kiss. It's hypnosis. Good night, give it a kiss. Good morning, give it a hypno kiss. Good night, give it hypnosis. Good morning, it's hypnosis. But when it comes good night, you will forget this with a kiss under hypnosis. It's blurry, but I run and see my whole world lag as my legs painfully drag. Stuck on my a life story summed up in a bar, barcode seen on a medical tag. I'm not patient zero, nor am I patient hero. I feel more like patient Nero, watching a world burn, aimlessly turn towards a story of two nervous thumbs who endlessly twiddle, ringing out like I'm witlessly playing a manufactured fiddle. Why so critical? Am I being too literal? Or would you rather hear about the butterflies that are in my stomach or how they make me ache? Or rainbows in the sky encouraging me not to die? Oh wait. Or how about the fact that I'm supposed to admit I'm a changed man who was fixed by a force-feeding hand. Latex lubed up, mercilessly fucked by people who said who only wanted to test on me saying they had the solution for me. Salvation? Salvation. I found salvation compacted in plastic. It took an hour and forty dollars, a nap and a meal. What a deal. Damnation, damnation. I found damnation and self-proclaimed salvation. I've gone restless and I'm hungry. A pain I guess you all can't see. Instead I was charged with suicide in the first degree. 150 milligrams of pride with the side effect of choking on the inside. 300 milligrams of happiness with the side effect of feeling less. 70 milligrams of confidence with the side effect of a heart so dense weighing me down from the other side of the fence. Drink up, bottoms up, get it down, feel them drown. You can at least make the poison less bitter to make it taste better. Some days I consider drinking the Kool-Aid. Just crush them and mix them, quenching my thirst through liquid guidance into the light. 
through by sight seeking eternal life, only to ring the doorbell at the white pearly gates of hell. Hear me beg, just try, just try hearing me through these aches of the day, hear me plead, while I succeed at proving another mess, confess from documented signed success. Might as well be face down when face forward in a dim lit room, exuberant, suffocating, without a clue. We cut off the hands of thieves here, so there's no use, no one will lend theirs an aid, even if it was a life you had paid. You can't hear here, nor are you heard here, resilience costs your ears, while tears, a sincere moan in defeat, goes without a tongue, executed by university spun, dusted and polished, wall-mounted prophet, booked full by the claim to stop it. It's like a shotgun with no safety, but no way to cock it, because God won't let you lose your profit. Time ain't up unless I say so. Not until your money goes in the pockets they need to go. One more tick, is it better yet? One more tick, is it better yet? Stop lying and looking for attention. You fill this room each day with apprehension? So next week we'll do it again. Next month we'll do it again. Next year we'll do it again. Two years and again. Three years and again. Four years and again. Five years and again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, 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 and again. And I'll do it again tenfold. This shit never gets old. When reading comics, I tend, I tend to wish for superheroes. I start to think like superheroes, but not possible in this world. DC deceiving me, the sun through my eyes every morning, that's my kryptonite. Every red plastic smile, peeling back, scorning every night. Trying to birth a positive thought, consumed by the rot, with no warning, no strength to fight. Fist clenched with will for endless soaring, lost with no light. More and more pages gone to keep burning along with the idea that there is meaning to the word right. And I mean when I say there is no meaning to the word, and I don't care about what other, what other song you may have heard, because now I'm speaking, for once it's my turn, and I hope you have been listening, because I'm warning you without permission that our voices are limited. Keep running till your legs burn. When you reach the end zone, don't stop and turn. Keep running until your voices become unlimited. Thank you, guys.